What's up guys, Nino here. So did you ever wonder why you see brightness and luminosity mentioned in Photoshop? Kind of back and forth and what's the difference and why they're two different things which sound like they're the same. Luminosity, how luminous something is. Brightness, how bright it is. It sounds like they should be the same. Have you ever been explained the differences and didn't completely get it? Let's see if this video helps you out because it may or may not be useful to you. So I'm going to start by going to the color picker real quick, color picker, because we're going to click on somewhere like here's our cheek, right? So if we look at that, we see have a B setting of 85. And if we look at the lab settings, it's an L of 76. So already lightness or luminosity and brightness aren't the same. Why? I don't know. So we click on our, you know, outfit. We have a 91 and 86. Here we have a 17 and a 10. Okay, why are these different? Why does it matter? Well, let's go ahead and make our luminosity and brightness masks or, you know, representation of them so we can see these visualization layers and then talk about why they're different. And then we're going to also expand and use some um, charts to kind of see the difference more literally and might help you understand. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and duplicate my background twice. I'm going to call one B for brightness and the other one L. And we're just going to create these real quick. Luminosity is pretty straightforward to create. You take the layer in question. Take the layer in question and there's several different ways, but I'm going to add a solid color layer on top with a 50% brightness and zero hue, zero saturation. Easy peasy. Change the blend mode to color. I'm going to go ahead and flatten it. I don't have to, but I'm going to. I'm going to merge them together. Oops, that one's called L. This is our luminosity. Now I want you to pay attention because if I turn it off and on, they look suspiciously similar apart from color, don't they? Hmm. Okay, keep that in mind. Let's make our brightness. Brightness is a little different, a little more technical. Uh, one way to do it is to go to black and white, uh, adjustment layer, maximum white, and there's our brightness, okay? So I'm gonna double click, should name these later, that's all right, brightness. Now brightness and luminosity. Brightness, luminosity, brightness, luminosity, brightness, luminosity. Okay, why are they different? And for the most part, brightness tends to look brighter, not on every image, but on a lot. What's the difference? Okay, so let's talk about it. Brightness, we'll start there. Brightness, we're gonna go back to our color picker. Everywhere we click, we get a brightness value, okay? 85. Now you notice when I click and there's nothing but brightness data, the L and B look suspiciously similar. The numbers are very, very close, right? So this is the actual value of the pixels that I'm clicking, the actual one. So the B is 82, all right? And I'm probably on five by five average, yeah, I am, okay. So I put it on point sample, then I'll get literally the identical settings pretty much everywhere I click, all right? Though I like to be on five by five for realistic purposes. This is the actual data. This is what each pixel looks like or is represented by here. So if I click on her cheek, we have that B is still in the 80s, you know, 83, 85 on her bright cheek here, it's still there. So when we just pull that data, we get this, which is numerically accurate, but it doesn't look the same. Why? This is the key reason. Brightness is literal data. Luminosity is a simulation, if you will, of how the human eye perceives brightness on a digital, in the digital space. So luminosity is created for us to, for us as people, we have computers that are numerically perfect, okay? Technically, scientifically, programmatically perfect. But we are not. We are humans. We perceive things differently. Luminosity is designed, if you will, and there's a whole discussion of color science behind it, but it's there to help us, not necessarily help us, but it's just a way to reflect and represent what the human eye sees in terms of brightness value. The brightness value itself, though, can be very different. And there are different technical reasons that you may or may not need both of them. For the most part, we deal with luminosity. You've heard maybe perhaps here on MVP and myself shouting about chroma luma splits. We separate our chroma data from our luminosity data or luma data. We split them so we can do different things. The reason why it's luminosity data and not brightness data is that we want a seamless split. We want our separation of chroma and luma to be seamless so we can modify them independently, right? That's very, very important. This is why one of our blend modes is luminosity, depending on what we're trying to do with it, various adjustment layers or pixel layers, etc. Luminosity is our perceived brightness, okay? Now, when you look at an image, it may not be clear what's going on. You're like, okay, I, I get what you're telling me, Nino, but it's not obvious what's going on. Well, one way to make it obvious is to run some, some color charts. So let's do that. The simplest way we can do this is let's do a very basic color chart. Uh, let's do a spectrum vertical. It could not be any simpler than that. Let's go through the process of duplicating again. The first one, we're gonna make this one our, you know what, let's go the opposite direction. Let's make this one our brightness, okay? So remember how we did that? We go black and white, adjustment layer, maximum white, 
There we go. I'm going to blend it together. There it is. This is our Spectrum B brightness. Hmm, interesting. We'll talk about why it's white in a second. Okay, now let's add in, uh, the same method again. We're going to do a 50% can be really anything. And then we're going to make it color. Whoa, what's happening here? Spectrum L. Spectrum B. There it is. That's brightness. Uh, why? Why we've we've killed our spectrum data, but we're gonna we're gonna create it again. Here we go. Let's talk about why our brightness is pure white. Go back to our color picker, and the story will come through. Brightness one hundred percent. Every single hue angle is one hundred percent brightness. Now, curiously, one hundred percent or close on saturation. Okay, but all the brightness is one hundred percent. So when you say give me brightness data, what do you get? Pure white because it's one hundred percent. It's effectively a mask, right? But what about luminosity? Well, let's look at our color picker again. As we move, we notice our luminosity, our L, changes as we move across the hue angles. It changes radically. If we turn on what we got in our spectrum luminosity, what are we looking at? Well, here's what we're looking at. We're looking at the perceived brightness of those colors. This is pure color, pure color. You'll never experience this in the real world. This is only a digital thing. Maximum saturation, maximum brightness. But we still see the blues as darker than the yellows and darker than the cyans. We see the red somewhere in the middle, perhaps. We arguable. Everybody's a little bit different, and we're not even going to go into color blindness. I know that's a whole other world. But for the most part, we see the blues as darker than the yellows and darker than the cyans. Our luminosity mask reflects that. The blue is the darkest, the yellows are the brightest. See that? It sort of represents what human perception of brightness is on colors. So luminosity data will vary a lot depending on the color saturation and the type of color that it is. It's trying to, again, simulate what the human eye sees. When you just pull straight info from it, okay, brightness is 100, you're getting white. Okay? And this is why our brightness um, data when we pulled it out in the photo looks very different than luminosity. Remember I mentioned luminosity looks suspiciously like the original? It's supposed to, okay? Whereas brightness, it's just a pure data, okay? So as you can see, we have the, the color contrast that we see between her lips and her skin is markedly different to our eyes. However, brightness-wise, they're almost identical, but we don't have the color contrast to help make it look different. The luminosity reflects the color contrast for between red and orange and yellow, and therefore it shows the lips a little bit darker and everything in general has changed. Okay, so that's the difference. One, luminosity is our perception and brightness is quite literal. What does this mean for you? It may mean nothing. You can make lots of pretty pictures and edits and retouches without knowing this. But as you get more involved in the color science aspects of, you know, creating actions perhaps or processes to get the different things you want to do, it's just a good idea to know the difference and understand um, that luminosity and brightness are not the same thing, okay? Especially if you're coding actions or you're making some kind of advanced functions for some kind of processing of some kind or utility function. So again, that's the basic difference between them.